You guys have too many passwords to remember? I do. I got way too many. Um, and if you're like me, it's too hard to try to remember them all, and you don't want to have them all the same. Um, it's not very secure. I mean, what happens if uh, it accidentally gets compromised? You accidentally type your password in IRC or something, and that's also your bank password, your all your Gmail accounts, um, anything. Um, but I, I mean, there's a lot of different password managers out there, but I've used one that's a free open source one for quite a few years. It's called KeePass. Um, Straight off their site says KeePass is a free open source password manager, which helps you to manage your passwords in a secure way. Now it uses, I think, AES and TwoFish for uh, encryption algorithms. And the only thing is, you only have to remember one password to get into the program, which is kind of cool. So um, let me show you kind of what it looks like and how I use it at least. Okay, this is what I get when I first launch KeePass, and, and the reason it's already set up and it's looking at a um, KeePass database file. It's because I already set it up, and when you during the setup process of your first um, KeePass database, it will require you or ask you to um, set up a password. So that way, next you know nobody can just access it. You'd have to have this password, and um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in there. And here's all my passwords. Now there's more, of course, somewhere out there that I forgot to add here, but for the most part, this is all of them. And what you would do is let's say you're let's let's create a whole new add a, let's add a group and go test because we're gonna do this to, okay let's say you have a blank database and you want to add one okay what you want to do is hit the insert button I believe you can just add an entry this way but I hit the insert button and we want to put in a title now this would be like let's say this is for my YouTube account I would say YouTube and then if I have different channels I would say you know whatever channel it is I'll just say channel one uh, username this is whatever I use to log in typically this is like a Google or a, a Gmail uh, account but let's just say my username is um, uh, yo 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 one two three and the password let's say whatever my password is on that site and you can show and hide it here so if somebody's behind you while you're typing in your password you don't want them to see it just hide it um, or you can look at it and say password one two three and make sure and then down here you notice under the quality it does show you how strong your password is so if you just keep typing oops and you do some crazy stuff, you can see how strong it is. So let's just do pass one, and then pass one. Oh, just wants to make sure that you um, typed it correctly. And your URL, this one is of course youtube.com, and then let's say it's my channel one. And then if you want to put some notes in there, like um, whatever, it used to be this password, and then you can type it in there, and then whatever. But and then you just hit OK, and then of course there's just, there's other options up here that I never really deal with. Oh, there's a history too. That'd be cool. So maybe if you if you change passwords and you save it, maybe it'll save a history. That's kind of neat. Uh, I think you can change colors and attach files and everything. So let's just hit OK, and there's your thing right there. And here's your username. And it also, if you highlight it down here, you can get a real quick view of it. But um, you just double click it, get in there, and then of course control S or save up here. I'll just control S and then close out of it. And that's kind of it in a nutshell. And um, the cool thing is you can take that database, it's just a database, it's like a file. You just take that database file, key pass database file, and you can copy it over to uh, a Linux machine, another Windows machine, you can put it out on a shared um, network resource or a shared even on the internet. If you have like a um, my Dropbox or whatever they call it, you know, or some sort of live um, shared out on the internet folder, you know, you put it out there and um, you can access it anywhere. So it's kind of cool. Um, it's coming real handy for me.